Welcome to the channel InfoDoctor. Today we are going to discuss about the topic on Metaverse. Metaverse is a concept that is introduced by Facebook on 2021. From that day onwards, there is a craze in this topic. So in this topic, what we are going to discuss is about what is the Metaverse? Why Mark Zuckerberg want people to go into the virtual world to have a rich experience? Let's go into the video and explore this topic. So let's explore what is Metaverse. Metaverse is nothing but a virtual parallel world where you have everything that a human being can interact with virtually. So this concept of virtual world is there for quite a long time but it is not a parallel world as such. We have a small instance of virtual world where a human being can go and interact in that space and experience them. However, creating an entire parallel world is a new concept and Mark want to explore in this space. This concept is made possible because of explosion of technology and the infrastructure that can support the entire parallel world. However, there are a lot of challenges in this as well. So the idea for this is coming from the game open world. For example, nowadays there are a lot of games which gives us an open world where a player can go and explore and have his own lifestyle or have its own set of events that is unique for other players. So therefore this concept has been evolved into creating a parallel world where a human being can enter it through a virtual gateway and experience various aspects. For example, e-commerce is done using internet gateway. However, in virtual world, you can go there and explore the products virtually and then you can buy a product. Not only commerce, you can also have recreational activities and also various other activities such as official meetings, etc. Therefore, it's nothing but shifting you from a real world to a virtual world to a virtual gateway. So Facebook is a very large organization which has data center across the globe and also there are various technology scientists working for Facebook who can build this component from the scratch. Therefore, an enormous effort will be made to create a parallel world which will be released, released to the public so that the public can access it and then experience this virtual world. But why were metaverse? Now if you see the social media has reached a saturation point. So we are able to explore a social media, we can interact with people through text, we can upload medias etc. However, there is no virtual experience where you can go and meet a person one on one. So this saturation point is where the next evolution will take place. The experience derived from this is very rich compared to a uh, simple text based communication which we have in the people. So that is why Facebook wants to create a metaverse. Not only Facebook, there are a lot of other organizations which are technologically very strong organizations who are exploring this concept in detail. Facebook might have announced this topic or a concept ahead of time. They are in the process of creating it. The reason behind is that the first mover advantage. Facebook does not want to lose the first mover advantage because if you take the social media sites earlier, whoever moved into the social media earlier are very successful. Whereas whoever created social media sites at a later stage, mimicking the Facebook, they were not that much successful. So therefore, Facebook with its financial muscle and also the technological capability wanted to create this parallel world ahead of other players in this space. And also the other reason for Metaverse is the advent of Web 3.0. So Web 3.0 is a concept where you have connected devices with the internet world. So therefore it's completely an interconnected world where every gadgets, every people and every components are brought into the internet and we can interact in a virtual world. So therefore to support this, there should be a parallel virtual world where people can go in there and interact with various components within that virtual world and then connect it with the real world. So therefore, Metaverse is the next evolution in social media space. As I said before, it's not only a social media, it is a space for recreation, for commercial activities, for business events, and also official meetings. Now, Metaverse is not just a virtual world concept. It is also enabled by other technology developments. For example, the evolution of blockchain and evolution of artificial intelligence is also supporting the Metaverse concept heavily. 
Now you may be wondering whether Facebook need to create the complete environment by itself. Now this is a very difficult for one single organization to create the entire open world. However, the how things will evolve is that various other players will create their own virtual environment and connect it with the Facebook metaverse. For example, Nike is creating its own virtual environment called as Nike World. Now this environment will be connected integrated with the Facebook environment. Therefore a person virtually entering the Facebook metaverse can explore various shops. When they have the access key to enter that particular site, they will use their access key and enter the next parallel world. For example, from Facebook metaverse, you can enter the Nike Nike world and explore various shoes and other products and then you can purchase that and come out of the Nike world and go to other place and then explore the products. So this is the concept behind the metaverse. Slowly this will evolve as a real estate space where various organization individuals will try to buy space within the Facebook metaverse and there will also be parallel worlds for example open source based metaverse instead of acting separately they would want to integrate with the Facebook metaverse and create a larger virtual environment. And what are the challenges? If you see the challenges, the challenges will come in the face of the technical requirement and the infrastructure requirement. The traffic needs to be pumped in and a large number of data centers need to be created to support the data transfer that is happening in the metaverse. So Facebook is one such organization that has the capability to build this. We need to wait and watch how this evolves in this space. However, the adoption of the Facebook metaverse will not be as soon as possible. There will be a timeline for the technology to be adapted for the masses. So for example, it may take 20 to 30 years for the technology to mature and also the supporting devices such as the virtual gateway and the carriers to mature and become cost effective. Once it becomes cost effective and the metaverse concept becomes mature, then this adoption rate will increase drastically because the virtual world is the next destination of the technology evolution. Once there is an update or any important news, this will be explained in this channel. So therefore, subscribe to this channel and keep track of updates in this virtual world.